It is a tough decision. But after an incredible singular season at San Diego State, Malachi Flynn has made the choice to forego his final year of college eligibility and enter the NBA draft. Malachi joins us right now. Uh, But before we get started, um, Malachi, on behalf of this station and a city filled with Aztecs fans, I say thank you. This was an incredible year of basketball. Uh, It doesn't matter how it ends, uh, but it certainly doesn't happen without you and your contributions. Uh, so thank you. And, and with that, uh, how tough was this decision? Yeah, first off, it's been, it's been my pleasure. I haven't had the fan support um, like San Diego showed ever. Um, it, it's been great season. The fans were amazing. Um, but like you said, the decision was tough. A lot went into it, talking to coaches, family, um, just trying to break down the pros and cons. And um, at the end of the day, we just decided as as a group that it'd be best um, if this was the decision I made. Malachi, part of your weight, at least what I heard you initially say, was just the thought that you really weren't able to finish the season. I mean, it will always go down as one of the biggest what-ifs, certainly in San Diego State history, if not just college basketball history, what if the tournament had been played When you went back and forth on the idea, you know, Gomez coming into the program, a lot of returning players from a year ago, was there ever a time in this decision-making process where you might have been leaning toward coming back for another year? Yeah, it was definitely uh, moments where where I wanted to come back and and finish the season just because of of how our season played out. I mean, it's – it was tough to just have it in um, out of nowhere. And I knew the guys got a good returning group. The coaches got a, another good point guard. Um, so, I mean, I think they're still going to be good. I think people might sleep, um, but th- they still got a great team. And it was definitely something that intrigued me to go back. Malachi, whose opinion do you consider the most when, when you're making up your mind on such a, a huge decision? Was it uh, was it Coach Dutcher? Do you have a family member who you you trust, you know, explicitly enough that you can sit down and and you know the guidance you're receiving is is pure and it's what's in your best interest? Is there someone in particular that you use as your counsel during this process? Yeah, it would definitely be uh, my family. I think uh, my family is, is real close, and then the coaching staff, um, Dutch, all the way down to Dave, Coach Act, Coach J. Um, all those guys kept it real with me since I stepped on campus. Um, and they continue to do that throughout this whole process. And um, it got to a point where they kind of were, were leaning towards me leaving too as well. And, I mean, I know if the if the coaches are saying that it's, it's a good idea and that that's something that I should pursue, um, I, I just took that as that was my kind of my cue to leave. And, and they were they supported me 100%. Um, that's why I've been grateful. I've got stories of – School is trying to get their players to come back, but in my case, it wasn't. This wasn't my case at all. The coaches supported me 100. percent I'll be grateful for that. Malachi Flynn is joining us. He is going to be taking his game to the NBA after one of the most memorable individual seasons in San Diego State basketball history. Malachi, when the season began, KJ Fagan was coming in. Of course, you had redshirted a year after transferring from Washington State. Yanni Wetzel was coming in. Some of the players returning. You know, most people thought maybe second or third best team in the Mountain West. No one was thinking about a 26-0 and start. At what point did you start thinking that this was going to be a special season for the Aztecs and maybe a better-than-expected season for you individually? Yeah, um, the, the BYU, I mean, leading up like the preseason, we knew we had a, a good team. Um, and I think after we went to BYU, we had a good win. And then we went to Vegas and we went on the road or a neutral site. I think that moment we all were, were bought into the same thing, which was winning. Um, and I think we just – we never looked back at that point. We knew who we are. We knew our identity. Um, we were tough defensively, and, and we can make shots and get hot on the offensive end. Four or five different guys could go off at any night, and I think we just embraced that, and it helped everybody individually. Malachi Flynn joining us, star of the San Diego State basketball team this past season. 
uh, really just an incredible run the whole way through. Speaking of that run, you know, look, it was punctuated with a loss in the Mountain West Conference Tournament. I'm sure that soured uh, some of you guys, but also encouraged you to p- perform better in a tournament that would never actually play out. Does mm-hmm. does that does that hurt? Like, you know, when you think back on your college career now, you, you never really had an opportunity to make that right. Is that something that is that something that stings you to this moment? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, I think I don't know if we'll if the team will ever get to a point where we're just content with what what happened. I mean, it, it happened, so we got to get over it. But I mean, I think it'll there will always be some just part of us that wishes we could go back in and finish that season because I think we're ready to do something special in March. You know, my, we've had uh, K.J. Fagan on our show a couple times during the course of the season. Obviously, he had nothing but great things to say about you, Malachi. But I want to ask you about that dynamic with K.J. Fagan because, you know, a lot of people thought he was going to be sort of the it guy uh, coming out of Santa Clara. Um, you know, he seemed to get more of the spotlight going into the season than you did. Talk about how you guys were able to to meld your talents and become one of the best backcourts in the country? Yeah, I mean, first, I think it comes down to neither one of us actually caring who who gets the shot, who gets the praise. I don't think we cared about that. I think both of us came from programs where we were doing a lot individually. We were scoring, we were passing, um, but we just weren't winning. And I think just playing with KJ was definitely one of the um, – I, I couldn't have asked for a better backcourt partner, to be honest. I mean, he – he took challenges defensively. Um, he t- he would go on the ball, off the ball. I mean, there's not really anything that he didn't do in it. And we were able to feed off each other. I think having him out there allowed me to show my talent more. So i um, definitely thankful that the coaches brought him in and um, we were able to click as soon as we did. I'll tell you what, it was fun to watch. I know it's an overplayed part of speech, but it truly was – uh, a dynamic duo, uh, Finn, uh, Flynn and Fagan. You know, when when you move on now to the NBA or or the conversations with uh, agents and potential staff at these organizations, actually, you know what? Let's start there. Have you had much contact with uh, NBA organizations? You know, who who have you heard from, if if anybody? Um, yeah, I, I, um. I haven't had any personal conversations with the team. Um, I know people who have, like, um, agents have, have told me they've talked to them and, and hear stuff from them. Um, it's just been a weird um, – it is what it is. I think for myself, I just got to worry about staying in shape, staying um, staying ready for whenever, whenever everything's going to open up. I was going to say, Malachi, if you're trying to sell your game right now, and, I mean, it's it's a pretty easy sell after everything you accomplished this past season, but if there are doubters in the NBA, what, what do you think personally is the strength of your game? Yeah, um, I mean, there's definitely going to be doubters. I've, I've experienced that my whole life, so it's something that I'm, I'm used to. But I just think um, I know the game. Um, I feel like when I'm out there, I have a real good feel. I know it's going to happen, um, and, and I can shoot the ball. I'm skilled in different areas, so I think I think that's what separates me from from other guys who are more athletic and jump higher and things like that. Well, Malachi, we wish you the best of luck. I, I mean, it certainly was our pr- privilege and pleasure uh, here at Extra 1360, the home of the Aztecs, uh, watching your career flourish in front of our eyes in your final season. And uh, wherever you end up next, we're going to be watching. I can promise you that. So good luck. Go get them. And uh, we'll be in touch. I can promise you that as well. Thank you. Thank you for everything.